This is problem number seven on the sample test problems for test number one. Consider the function f of x equals 2x squared minus x. A, estimate f prime of 2 numerically by finding approximate values near x equals 2. So at the top of the page here, I've written the derivative uh, formula, the limit definition of the derivative. And then down below part A, I've written that same formula. So this whole thing just copied again, except instead of all the x's, I put 2's. So that becomes a 2 plus h, that becomes a 2. And, uh, and that whole thing, if we can calculate this, is going to give us the derivative of the function at x equals 2. So the first thing we're doing is approximating numerically. So I'm going to plug in uh, values for h that are close to 0. So for example, we could plug in uh, h is 0.1 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.001. And then technically, we probably should do some numbers on the other side as well. So we'll pick some negative values of h. And then what I'm interested in is figuring out the value of the difference quotient. And the difference quotient is just all of this without the limit part. So sending h to 0 in the limit is essentially what this table is supposed to approximate. So let's use the calculator to help us here. So I've already typed in the function 2x squared minus x. That's this. And then I'll come out here to the main screen, and I'm going to ask the calculator to evaluate this thing, f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. Uh, and we're just going to plug in different values for h. So let's try it. Now, there are a few different ways to do this, but um, I'll do the following. The first h that I want is 0.1. So I'll take 0.1 and store it as h. So to get h, we do alpha, and then h is right up here on my calculator. So h is going to be that number, and now I need to evaluate this fraction, that difference quotient. So I want f of 2 plus h. Okay, so f is really called y1 in this example. So I really wanted to say y1 of 2 plus h. So we go to variables, bars, go to the right, y bars, hit enter on function, hit enter on y1, and y1 is the function. That's f. Now I need of 2 plus h. So parentheses 2 plus is an alpha h. We've already stored h minus f of 2. So we go bars, y bars, function y1. It's supposed to be f of 2, so we type that. And then we need to divide by h. But if we just put divide by h right here, then we've made a mistake. And we haven't given the calculator the right thing because the calculator knows order of operations, and it would do that division first. But we need to tell the calculator that the whole numerator is one thing. So I need parentheses around this whole numerator. So we'll do second insert and then parentheses. And we have to end the parentheses right before we do our division. Second insert, close the parentheses. So if I hit enter, that will tell me the value of this difference quotient for h equals 0.1, which is a pretty small number. So 7.2 is what we're putting over here. And then we'll do the same thing. Now I want h to be 0.01. So I'll do uh, 0 0.01 and then store it as alpha h. But I don't really feel like typing that whole thing again. So if we do second entry, it retypes the previous line. Second entry types the one before that. And now I'll just hit enter. And it will calculate this, but with an updated value of h. Now it's 0.01. So the next number in our table is a 7.02. And we'll just go ahead and fill in a few other ones of these. So uh, now we'll let h equal 0 0.001. Store that as alpha h. And then uh, second entry, second entry. And hit enter, and we get 7.002. So that goes in here. And we'll do one of the negatives, and then uh, you can fill in the rest of the table on your own. Uh, but we'll go ahead and make h negative 0 0.001, store alpha h, and then second entry twice. Enter to calculate, and we get 6.998. Okay, so I hope I'm not wrong, but it feels like the pattern is something like this. That would be 6.98, and this one would just be 6.8. And, uh, and then we make our best guess. Uh, what does the table appear to be doing as h heads towards 0, which means right there in the middle of this table, 
and it sure feels like seven is the magic number that goes in the middle. So from the table, f prime of two sure looks like it's around seven. Okay, part B. Find f prime of two algebraically using the definition of the derivative. So here we're going to go back up uh, to this green circled thing and do some calculations. So the difference quotient from the green circled thing, f of two plus h minus f of two divide h. And now we're not using the table or the calculator at all. We're just going to do some algebra based on the definition of f. It's right there. So if I wanted to find f of two plus h, and I would plug two plus h in for all those x's. So two something squared minus something. Let's actually move that a little bit lower. So it's two times something squared minus something. And the something in both of these cases is a two plus h. So what we just did is found uh, f of two plus h by plugging in two plus h for that x and that x. And we see the two plus h is right there. Okay, and then we're going to do the next piece, which will be this minus f of 2. I haven't done that yet, so we'll put it here. Uh, minus, and then f of 2. Well, we just plug 2 into the f function. What do we get up there? 2 times 2 squared, that's 8. Minus 2 is 6. And then the whole thing is divided by h. Okay, so now we need to do some algebra here. We're going to go ahead and FOIL the 2 plus h squared. And I'll distribute that minus sign there. And that's divided by 6. A line here just to separate these. Okay, this is equal to, so now we'll distribute the first two. I'm just going to copy these, although you could combine the numbers, the negative 2 and the negative 6 at that stage. Uh, and then something nice is supposed to happen here. If it's a polynomial, then all of these constants are supposed to cancel. 8 minus 2 minus 6 is 0. And then uh, the nice thing is that the uh, only terms that are left all have h in them, which means we can factor h out of both. And then the most satisfying part of this problem is that canceling the h in the bottom because that's the problem that we've been trying to resolve this whole time. So the difference quotient turns out to be simplified to 8 plus 2h. So then if we wanted to bring it home, f prime of 2, which is the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. Well, here's the difference quotient, 8 plus 2h. One little notation thing, uh, because this is two terms, we need to put parentheses around it because both of those terms are inside of the limit. Okay, and then we just plug in h is zero, so we get eight plus two times zero, which is just eight. Part C, find a formula for f prime of x, again, using the definition of the derivative. Okay, I just paused the video because it dawned on me that this answer of 8 does not at all agree with the numerical calculations we did here in the table. We figured the derivative was supposed to be 7, so hopefully you guys caught this, but it took me a little while to catch on. Um, so uh, right here, uh, in this step, I had 8 h's right there, which I copied down here, but I didn't see this minus h right there. I missed that completely, so let's fix that right now. So 8 h minus... That single h over there that I forgot about, sorry, single h, should be 7h. And then when I factor, this 8 right here is a 7. And this 8 right here is a 7. And this 8 right here is a 7. That 8 right there is a 7. And then finally, 7 plus 2 times 0, 7. My fault. Okay, let's move on to part C. Find a formula for f prime of x, again, using the definition of the derivative. So we'll go ahead and use uh, the formula that I wrote first. I think it's all the way up here at the top. Uh, f prime of x equals all that stuff. 
Same thing we just did, but instead of f of 2 plus h, it's going to be f of x plus h. And instead of f of 2, it's going to be f of x. So I'll just put it right down here. f prime of x is the limit as h goes to 0. f of x plus h minus f of x, all divide by h. So what I'm going to do, uh, because I don't want to write that limit every single time, is I'm just going to separate the difference quotient part. So the difference quotient is just going to be this piece without the limit. So f of x plus h. Again, it's 2 times something squared minus something. And the something, again, is has h in it. So this is 2 times x plus h squared minus x plus h. It's just according to the definition of f at the top. And so that part is, we'll highlight, there's your f of x plus h is all this. And so what we still need to do is find the f of x part. And so we're going to put that here. And f of x, again, just copying the definition of f in this problem, 2x squared minus x. Don't forget the parentheses. And then finally, one big subtraction in the middle, all divided by h. Okay, so some algebra to do. First thing we'll do is FOIL. So we get 2 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus, then we'll distribute that minus sign, minus x minus h. We'll distribute this minus sign, minus 2x squared plus x. I'll divide by h. And now we'll distribute this 2. And then, like before, uh, anything that was just a number in the previous part of this problem canceled. So here's the more general thing. Anything that doesn't have h in it needs to cancel. That's really what was going on up above. All the terms without h need to go away. So there's a 2x squared. There's a minus 2x squared. There's a minus x. There's a plus x. And lo and behold, the only terms that are left over all have h. So we'll copy them. 4xh plus 2h squared minus h. I think we've got all of them this time. And then uh, we're almost ready to cancel that troublesome h in the bottom. First, we factor h out of all the terms upstairs. And then we cancel the h's. And we're left with just the stuff in the parentheses. 4x plus 2h minus 1. So the rest of this is easy. F prime of x is exactly what we just did, but uh, with the limit at h goes to 0. So we'll go ahead and copy that difference quotient, 4x plus 2h minus 1. Again, parentheses required because it's more than one term. And this thing is what we ended up copying right there. Limit as h goes to 0 of the difference quotient. And so then all we do is we plug in h is 0. So this is really 4x. There's, there's the variable x isn't actually varying in this limit, plus 2 times, and then the h is still 0. And then minus 1, copy that. There's no h's in it. And so lo and behold, we get the derivative is 4x minus 1.